class. Joe's here with how much longer we'll see the clouds and feel this wind. Yeah, you know the clouds are going to be thinning out overnight, but the winds are going to be increasing. A couple things going on. The thickening clouds, we topped off at 66. We have the southwest winds uh, sustained, meaning blowing constantly at 20 miles an hour. But we do have a couple of showers kind of forming around the Albuquerque area. It's not going to be that big of a deal. But there will be some accumulating snow throughout the northern mountains. In fact, if you look overnight, there'll be some mess. Very light snow, a couple of inches or so around the higher peaks around Durango, Chama, on into Red River. That's from that fast moving system that'll trick through overnight, and then on the back side of it, strong jet stream winds will come down. So the concern would be Raton, Las Vegas, Klein's Corners, eastward, those gusts up to around 60 miles an hour, strong throughout the Guadalupe Mountains as well, into the Cloudcroft Ruidoso area. So be careful of those dangerous crosswinds, areas of blowing dust, and no outdoor burning. It's going to be a, a real tender trap with the fire concern across. So southern and eastern parts of the state. If a flame gets going, it could spread very, very quickly. So no outdoor burning. Okay, here's a look at 8 o'clock in the morning. These brighter shades, that's a reflection of where the winds are the strongest. And look how that increases as we get to the afternoon. Strongest over eastern parts of New Mexico. Hence, that high wind warning. Now, as we go ahead and look at your 12-hour planner, starting off tomorrow, it will be okay. But then the winds crank up. Let's give you an hour-by-hour hour look at that. By the noon hour, gusting. 30 to 40 miles an hour, but sustained winds in that 20 mile per hour range all afternoon. So yeah, the winds will be stronger than what we encountered today as we go ahead and look at the time and you can see that snow coming to a close throughout the northern part of New Mexico. And then this front will push through. Look at the dropping temperatures, increasing winds behind it around Raton on into the Santa Rosa area. That cold start on Tuesday will give way to a milder afternoon with temperatures uh, starting to edge up a little bit and winds will be coming down. So tomorrow that's the rough day. Then check out the warming trend Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Look at those temperatures getting up to 75 degrees on Friday. Breezes come up Saturday and the winds look to be stronger on Sunday. And that's when daylight saving time begins. Wow. So you spring forward and yep. you'll get more daylight. That's Already. Okay. There we go. <laughs>